Hi guys, welcome to a quick how-to video. Now, if you own a Ford Ranger or a Ford or any car for that matter that has rear parking sensors, this may help you out. What it is, and I'll show you, is I've got a 2017 Ford Ranger and it's got four rear parking sensors. Now, I know that some of the later models and other models do have front parking sensors and this could be the same issue. Now, I know, because I've had this truck a while now, in the summer, it works perfectly fine. Um, but in the winter, when you get a bit of rain, you do get malfunctions. Now, it just says check parking pilot. So what we're gonna do, it's quite obvious really on this car, even though it does have mud flaps that fitted to it, what I've done is I've left the car in a completely filthy state because what it seems to do is the rear bumper there acts as like a, like a spoiler and it sucks basically all the crap up. And there is nothing to like stop it from hitting the wiring. Now, we've taken this rear bumper off before, it is pretty simple. And we've cleaned it all up and, it, and it's been fine. So what we're looking at finding is probably loads of dirt. So we'll use some contact cleaner and we'll show you basically how to clean them off and protect them a little bit. So to stop this from happening again. But I'll show you what it's like inside the truck. All right then guys. So the symptom is basically when you put it into reverse, I'll just wait for the Ford logo to sort of warm up. But when you put it into reverse, put it in and then you, you basically, you still got your rear camera, which is fine but your rear park pilot is off and it says check park pilot. Now, there is other warnings. I mean, you can still reverse, I mean, but it's just got this little warning symbol up here and it's it's not giving you any audio indication. Now I can reverse the truck, no problems. I can see and you know, very old school. We didn't have this, you know, on every car, but it gets frustrating. So every time you go to like, you know, reverse, it, it comes up with a warning and it just gets annoying. It's, there's nothing wrong with it as such, but it just, it does get frustrating. So what we'll do is we'll whip the rear bumpers off. We'll show you where the parking sensors are. We'll give them a clean up and hopefully we should solve it. One thing that you can, well, one thing that you can check on these is if you put it into reverse, these should make like a clicking noise as well. So if you've got actually got a, 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 a sensor that is faulty, this one will be quiet. This one will click. The other two will click. Um, but ours, mine isn't doing that, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I just think it's a wiring issue or potential just dirt, and it just needs cleaning up. Like I say, this rear bumper seems to act as a scoop, and it just scoops all the moisture. You know, you're driving on the motorways, anything like that, it's just going to get all the salt, all that sort of stuff, and it's not very well protected. So we'll remove the bumper and show you what it's like. Right, guys, so what it is on this one, on this particular one, is... As you can see, I've got the ratchet there. It's two 13 mil capture bolts. I'll just take the ratchet out so you can see. You see there, two 13 mil capture bolts. Once they're loose, the bumper just slides off. There's one, obviously two on this side, two on the opposite side. And then once they're loose, you can just literally slide the bumper out in, in one go. So we'll loosen them off and we'll be able to pull the bumper off and we can get to the wiring behind. A few moments later. Where them two captured nuts were, this is all it is on this. Now I know on earlier models, um, these are actually blanked off here, so you've actually got to undo them. And it's a bit of a pain in the bum to be fair. I've done one on another range, but luckily on this one, it is just a case of, as you can see, where it slots in, these are captured. So they're captured on this side on the back here. Uh, you can get it. They're just captured. So it's, it's dead easy. It's just a case of sliding them out and then you slide that prong into there, tighten them up, jobs are good in. Now, looking at the four rear sensors from the back end or inside, you can see, look, I mean, look, this is just coated in crud. And this wiring here is probably very susceptible. The same on the other side. The inside one's not too bad. Same on the other side over there, I'll show you. <laughs> Oi, old, getting old. I mean, look, you can just see the difference where that one is, is well protected, the outer one, not so much. So the amount of like mist and dirt and salt and crud from the roads is probably getting at them. So I think what we will do is go for the outer two first, clean them all up, take them out, put a bit of contact adhesive on it or contact cleaner on it, tidy it up, put some tape around it, then plug it back up and see if that's fixed the problem. If not, then we'll do the, the inner ones and, and see if that's fixed the problem. And we'll go from there. So just by pressing the tab in. So we've disconnected that one uh, and Jack's now just doing it. And there's a, there's a bit of a trick to these. So you unplug it. Just press that in, yep. that tab. Pulls it out. Just keeps wiggling it off. Yeah. And then to take these off, you can see here this tab here is actually broken. Mm -hmm. 
they're really easy to break. I think that's the last time we've done it. Yeah. So you just gotta be really gentle when you when you put a bit of, when you push the tab out and just try and gently wiggle it out like yeah. that. And as you can see, look, I mean look, they're filthy. You know, they shouldn't be these are very hard to actually go wrong because I mean they're all in case, but I mean that needs a good old clean off and it doesn't take much for them to get sort of caked, you know, and uh, yeah, they, they they get all bad. I mean that one, not too bad That's actually. Not too bad. This but that one, one, yeah, it was absolutely covered. One of them took out, and you can yeah. see all the connectors. Look, this one, it's, it was all yeah. built up around here. This, yeah. this we've had it off already, so a lot of it's fell out. Yeah. So, I mean, all we can do is clean them up, clean up the wiring. I mean, look again, just in and around here. Look, it's just covered in crap. So, you know, it's not going to do it any harm for cleaning it, and then we can sort of protect it a bit more with some sort of an insulation tape around the ends. And then just clean up all all this bit because if dirt gets stuck in there, it's going to throw the sensors out. We won't know what's happening, but we'll clean it all up. We'll do all four, and then we'll come back and show you what they're like when they're clean. Cool. All right, guys. So I've cleaned it all up. I've sprayed some fast drying contact cleaner in there. Cleaned it all out. Loads of mud and dirt uh, and crud has just come out of all these. So, and as you can see, there's a lot of sort of dirt built up around with cleaned up around so what we'll do now is we'll plug it all in we're going to use some silicon grease just to put in to sort of help uh, lubricate them to i mean yes it'll get them mucky but uh, get keep them with stuff in but it'll stop stuff extra stuff from getting in and then we're going to use some electrical tape just to clean it up but we'll stick it all back plug it together and see what happens okay so they're all back attached so we put a little bit of silicon grease around here to the sensor and as you can see what we've done is we've sort of put a little bit of face tape, not brilliantly, but it's just to stop the majority. The inner ones aren't too bad. We sort of, this one here is the one that worries us because this seems to be the, the dirtiest and it's probably going to get the most because it's nearest the side of the road. So they're all cleaned up. They're all put back. Let's hope this works. All right, guys. So that's now the bumper back on. All tightened up, both bits. Parking sensors in. Truck still looking filthy. Now it is just a case of going in and checking it. So we'll see what that's like. Hi guys. Well, that didn't exactly go to plan. Uh, I was in the middle of editing the video and then I got into my truck, put it into reverse and it had gone again. So that fix we did actually worked, but, but it seemed like it was just a temporary fix. Looks like the parking sensor was already on its way out. Now, if you remember, we said um, you can check by the clicking if they make uh, clicking noises. Um, I did that as soon as it went again I was like oh bugger um checked it and it turns out my offside my far right one wasn't clicking so bit the bullet changed it and now it works so lesson learned um but it's not to say what we didn't what we did do didn't fix a problem uh it just turns out that my actual parking sensor was faulty or was going faulty in it and it just seemed to sort of mask the problem um so yeah, hopefully that helped. They are really easy to work on and they're really easy to clean. They do get mucked up quite a lot. So it is one to be aware of those guys that drive them. But yeah, so stay tuned to the channel. More stuff coming soon, new project, more uh, videos with Sam. Uh, he's been away, so he's back now. So hopefully a couple of reviews and a new project in the works. But yeah, thanks for watching. It's really cool. Still amazing that we're doing this. And um, I do apologize that the videos aren't coming out as often, but that is just down to work. But we are trying to pump out the content and we, you know, we really enjoy it. We're not making any money from it and it's it's just a bit of fun and it's great. So stay tuned, see you in the next one. Ciao guys.